Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brett and I, Millimeter USA here, and today I want to go over a couple new holsters. These are from Tucker Gun Leather. These guys make top quality holsters for sure. As you can tell right here, I've got the Eagle Globe and Anchor on this particular model. This is my EDC handgun, everyday carry, right? And it's a Dan Wesson Commander size. And I've been carrying it inside this Tucker Gun Leather holster since I switched to it. So it's been a couple of months. So as you glance at this holster, just keep in mind, it's got a couple months worth of wear on it already. And it still looks fantastic. A little wear is nothing to worry about, right? It's going to happen, especially if you're an EDC carry guy. So you got to expect a little bit of wear on this holster. This particular Tucker Gun Leather holster is an HF1, which rides about like this as the belt makes its way through the holster. It pulls the handgun really up tight and close to your skin. So it really makes for a nice concealed carry. It's very difficult for anyone to tell I'm carrying a 1911 in commander size with just a t-shirt over it. So that's one thing I was surprised and very happy to find that this holster works extremely well for CCW. The HF1 start at about $110 and then you can customize them from there. This one has an internal liner in the holster itself. As you can tell, it's all been sewn into place. Every pistol is made to custom fit that exact model. So you guys are going to need to pick which model you want to use and order the holster accordingly. You're going to need to know exactly what your pistol is. Does it have a rail? Does it not have a rail? Put all that stuff down in the descriptions of what you're trying to order so they can make the right holster for you the first time. As you can tell on this particular model, I did order it in all black. You can get different colors on part of the holster itself, like this part right here could be a different color than the rest of it. But this one I ordered in all black with black stitching. So you can even customize the stitching if you like. I added this, they call it a concho. So I added a concho for the United States Marine Corps, which most of you know, I served in the Marines. So that means something to me, it's very special. As you can tell, the holster is wearing very well. This is something that you purchase. If you buy a top quality holster, you can use it for the next 15, 20 years, no problem at all. Most of them will last a lifetime. So besides the concho and the custom stitching, I also talked about the cowhide liner. I've got a full sweat shield on this particular holster. So this is a little extra too, this piece up here. What it basically does, as you slide the 1911 into your holster, see where your safety is right here? So this whole part is protected against your skin by the way the holster is made right there. So if you want that, you do have to pay a little bit extra for that, but that was really nice considering that it is right up against your skin. So something to consider. The total build price on this holster for me with all of the extras was $170. The good news about Tucker Gun Leather is they are temporarily at least offering all of our subscribers a 10% discount by using the code B9USA and that brings the total build custom holster price down to $153. $153 is only 20 or 30 bucks more than any run of the mill leather holster is going to cost you depending on what kind of quality you're looking at. But for a total custom piece, I think it's worth it. These holsters are made in America, and to me that makes a difference, and I know it does for a lot of you also, so just keep in mind that these are American workers that are making these holsters one at a time at a custom shop. And in closing, my last thought on holsters in general, and a lot of you guys ask about Kydex holsters and all these kind of things. I used plastic holsters for quite a while, and to be honest with you, I'm just kind of tired of them. I wanted to go to a custom maker of holsters and at least get a top quality leather holster. And so I wanted to share that information with you guys. Maybe you're the same way. Maybe you're tired of all the Kydex plastic out there and you want to go to a leather holster. This is a great one to check out. Highly recommended. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Brett and I, Millimeter USA, for more Guns and Gear videos coming up in the future.